Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we're going to be having a look at the new MZKT Volat Truck Pack by Yansors. Now, he put a lot of time and effort into this mod pack, and so I really highly suggest going over to mod.io and checking it out. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Now, these trucks are meant to be balanced within the framework of the SnowRunner campaign mode. So, even though they are a mod, it is a mod that is built to enhance the game. So, with that being said, not only to enhance the game in terms of basically balance, but also to enhance the game in terms of fun factor. And I personally believe that any mod, if it, if it makes you smile, if it makes you have fun, then it's a good mod. It does its job. So... We have a couple of different engine options with this one. This one is the long wheelbase version. And we've got the YAMZ7511 and the 7513.1. So that's going to bring us up from a B plus power to weight to an A minus power to weight. Not a big difference, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and go for it. Now we have a couple of different gearbox options, but they don't really give us much of a description of what they are. This one just says like it's a common gearbox produced by mzkt it doesn't give you any indication of what the gears are or anything like that so it kind of leaves it up to you to discover that on your own now suspension wise you get one option and you get quite a few different tire options now your standard tire size is 53 inch and that's what all of the tires on this rig are going to be and you've got your one all-terrain option the aths1 off-road wise you have 53 inch ohs1 and ohs2 and then mud tire wise you have some custom tires here like for example the belshina bell 95 which is a replica of the michelin xzl then you have the Bridgestone VLTS, which looks really, really good. You also have the MHS-1, and then you have the Michelin XZL, which is going to be your spiked tire for use in icy and snowy environments. And then you also have a 53-inch uh, chained MHS-1. So I'm actually going to go with the Bridgestone VLTS. Well, actually, you know, you know, the more I look at it, I'm actually gonna stick with these Belshina Bell 95s like well eh. nah you know what Michelin XZL yeah I'm like screw it Michelin XZL let's do it all right so we're gonna go with an advanced heavy winch and I could sell off a bunch of my stock heavies and get a little bit of money back from that now the spare wheel that resides here on the back of the truck actually swings around which is really really cool and then snorkels wise you get a wedge cap but it comes pre-installed and so you're good to go there the custom beds are very interesting so you get a closed board an open board a van body add-on which gives you 1100 repair parts and 12 spare wheels which is a lot i mean it's huge and then you also have a support container which gives you 900 repair parts and eight spare wheels but also 900 units of fuel so if you're looking for a support truck you can't really go wrong with this thing i mean it's a long wheelbase cab over beast that is literally out here for support capability so let's go ahead and throw the van body out on on it to begin with and then we'll see angled sun visor i don't think i'm gonna go with that one right now personally but it's cool that it's there and you have maz rear lights and wait oh they're already installed okay stock wheel fenders stock wheel fenders again let's see second axle mud flaps which that's kind of cool and lattice as well and then front bumper you've got axle protecting reinforced bar hinged heavy duty pipe and tow hook oh oh that's actually really cool you got a, like just a standard tow hook you can throw on the front so let's see cabin air conditioner twin horns not gonna throw either one of those on i mean they're cool but as far as exhausts go you got the heat shielded muzzle which looks really good out rolled um muzzle again which that one has been enlarged but it's also been shortened and then another heat shielded and then a stock and also another stock so I'm actually going to go with this stock one because it's got a big heat shield and a flap cap, which I think will fit this um, fit this truck's kind of personality really well. So you've got default MZKT wheels, white MZKT wheels, and rims crown. I'm not sure, like let's see, old rims straight from the '60s. I'm going to go with the I'm going to go with the white ones. Actually, the white ones look really good. Now onto the colors. We have a whole suite of custom colors here, and they all actually look really well done, and and they look like they complement the truck very well. I am personally going to run the the white with the red stripe. I think that does look quite good. You can also yeah oh whoa whoa that's cool. 
Dude, you could put a freaking laptop on the interior. That's so cool. Or maps. Oh my god, I love that. That is, that is amazing. I'm gonna throw beans on the dash. And the laptop. Oh my god, you can do beans and the laptop. What? Yo, did he put anything else in here that's like you don't normally see? Nah, okay, then I'm gonna just do dice. And then stickers. Let's see, Freedom Bird. Take Mooinch, and let's see. Park where I want. No road, no problem. And exterior stickers. Volat sticker. Oh, that's cool. But that would have to be if you didn't use the stripe. I mean, it looks cool anyway, though. Like, oh my god. Harsh driver inside. And harsh driver inside. And then hood ornaments. Wait. Oh! Keep distance, oversized, heavy transport. Let's see. Gold sticker, Volat. Oh, you can actually remove the big Volat sticker if you want. Let's see. Railway carrier. That's different. We'll do heavy transport. Yeah, there we go. God, this thing is so incredibly customizable. I don't think I've run into a modded truck that is this customizable in a very long time. And it's also like about a mile long. So let's fire it up, finally, and see how it drives. Roars to life. God, you want to talk about a ridiculously huge, like, support rig? This is, this is it. Now, granted, there are a lot of other variants of this truck as well that can do, like, you know, different types of trailer towing and different types of objective-based gameplay, but I decided to focus on the long wheelbase one for this video because I think that the long wheelbase one really does a great job of highlighting the scale of this thing. And as you can see, I mean, I've got the top engine in it, and it's still actually quite slow so but with that being said i can definitely tell you that it also feels like it's right at home here right at home here the balance does not feel off whatsoever and i can already tell you that if you were going to use this thing to help somebody out that was like stranded or something dude you would have to make sure that there weren't any sharp turns on the way to get there or at least if there were sharp turns you would have to plan them about a mile in advance because this thing is wildly long. Now, looking around the interior again, you can see that the interior is modded really well and the gauges, the gauges actually move, which is also, is also like absolutely wild. The mirrors work, Beans is chilling out there on the dash, the dice are swinging up there and the laptop is chilling out there in the middle of the truck. So there's a lot going on, but you know what? I'm super happy for it because having mods like this is like, this is a truck that literally could have come in the game right from the get-go. Like, right off the bat, you could have thrown this into SnowRunner and it would have been totally at home. It would have been like, oh yeah, that truck was made by the developers and it's supposed to be there. But even though this thing was made by a modder and not, you know, the SnowRunner developers, my god does it feel at home it literally feels like it is so meant to be here and i couldn't be happier to have this truck in the game and i think that especially you know in the future when console mods actually do drop and come out um this is definitely going to be one that i hope will make its way out there to consoles because for people that really enjoy realistic balanced mods oh my god this thing is a dream for y'all this thing is an absolute dream for those people thing does well too i mean i was a little worried about the tires before but man these 53s they do really well even in high in the mud and i can imagine that that's also due in part to this rig's immense weight i mean the weight is absolutely astronomical but i mean now granted it's not going to be necessarily as heavy as like a big you know caterpillar or something like that but it feels at least in terms of driving it it feels like it could be close it really does feel like it could be really close and I gotta say, it looks so good going down the trails. And this thing would also be a really good rig for Imandra. Like, if you haven't finished Imandra yet, or if you're still working on it, man, pick yourself up one of these. Because this will absolutely transform your Imandra uh, gameplay experience. And I gotta tell you, that driving it along out here in the Yukon... I mean, it feels at home here, but I can only imagine that it feels even more at home in Imandra. So let's go ahead and actually pull up right here. It actually um, probably would feel at home in Tamir as well. Use that a little for a little bit of a rotation. There we go. All right, yes, perfect. 
That's the exact tree I wanted as well. Dude, this thing really does a great job. I mean, yeah, it's got the turning circle of like of like Mars, but still, you can't you can't knock the capability. You absolutely cannot knock the capability. And you can't knock the capability considering the fact that this thing, I'm sure he worked on the balance of this truck for ages. I mean, cuz it does drive literally like it was meant to be here. I cannot imagine the level of work he put into balancing this thing. Just an absolutely insane level of balancing work had to have been done. Hey, there's our JBE Paystar? Yeah, Paystar. We're gonna have to go around that. Hey, bud, you're sort of in the middle of the road there, bud. We're gonna have to go around you, bud. I hope you don't mind, bud. <laughs> Farm is right up the road. I ain't giving up now make my way around that pay star. Like I said, you gotta plan your turns like about a year in advance with this truck, but it's all part of the experience, really. Ooh. Scraped its chin a bit there. But with a front end like that, I mean, that'll, that'll happen sometimes. You're just gonna have to accept that, you know? If you're gonna drive this truck a lot, you're gonna have to accept that one. Now, this section, it shouldn't be too bad. Let me throw it in high and see if it'll just pull this section in high. It probably would without the trailer, but I'm not sure if it will with the trailer. Let's find out. Oop. It wanted to. It wasn't like it was sinking or spinning. It was actually just kind of, just kind of slowing down under the weight of the trailer, which that's also, it's not the heaviest trailer in the world, but it's also not the lightest thing out there. It just looks so right for this game. It really does. It looks so right for this game. Making a quick right. Now, obviously, the farm is going to come up on our right. And I'm going to just, like, yeet it around those rocks. Kick it up into fourth gear. Maybe out here on the pavement, it will eventually uh, make its way into fifth gear. Oh, there you go. Actually, never mind. Makes its way into fifth gear pretty dang easily, huh, Beans? Get to look at Google Maps real quick on the, uh, <laughs> on the laptop. It really, oh, it really does feel like driving a bus, though. You genuinely feel like you're driving a bus. Even more so than in the KRS Bandit. Like, the KRS Bandit kind of feels like driving a bus. This really feels like driving a bus. Like, a, literally like a tour bus or a, you know, a long-distance bus. Some kind of bus. All right, roll one more bridge to go across, and then our destination will be right up here on the right, y'all. What a beast! What an absolute beast of a truck, and what a beautifully done mod. What an absolutely beautifully done mod. Oh boy. Off Pitchfork's farm, huh? There we go. Oh boy. Oh, alright! I was kind of concerned on whether or not we were going to fit this whole, like... This whole, um, conglomeration of, you know, truck and trailer through there. Now the mud in here is gnarly. This thing's eating it up, but it is gnarly. I wouldn't want it to come in here with anything less than this. Like, man. Like, a Tega would have been okay, but... Something less than a Tega? I don't know about that. Oh, wow. We just buried this thing. That's a little, uh... That's a little surprising and a bit disconcerting. Let's try through here. That's better. That's better. Sorry about your fence, bud. Had to go that way. Your driveway was just too torn up. Hey, and got it done. No worries at all at Off, off Pitchfork's farm. Oh, God. Either way, y'all... Hope y'all enjoyed this video and this look at this truck. If you would like to check out the other variants of it for yourselves, the link will be in the description box below. And if you enjoyed the video, please do leave it a like. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.